a video on how to make a scarecrow and it's a fairly simple pattern your handkerchief and your hat the hat pattern will be on a different video the supplies you'll need is four colors of yarn you'll need a tan a shirt color pants color hat that kind of thing button small circular loom flower loom or 24 peg loom you can just use your 24 peg loom if you don't have a flower loom. Um, we're going to start off making the head and you want to use your tan and if you want to just get one skein you can pull from the center and the outside and that'll help you double up your yarn without having to buy two full skeins of yarn. Start by e-wrap casting on all pegs which is all 24 and you're going to be working circular and the head is super easy and then you want to go ahead and you want to e-wrap another row And from here you want to just keep going and you want to e-wrap all pegs for 15 rows total and then we'll go from there so continue on Okay, we're done with that, and now we're going to do a drawstring cast off. And you want to thread your needle and do this as you would do to make a hat. And in fact, it should look kind of like a hat when you get it done in the drawstring and you tie it off. Except it's going to be a head. Go ahead and start sending the needle through all the way around. This pattern can also be a doll for a um, child or and it's a good base pattern. You can just adjust how much tan you use. You can make the entire thing tan so you can make an outfit for it but it's a bid base for a doll. I may actually do a tutorial in the future on how to make just a regular old doll. But anyway, you want to go ahead and put those all the way through. Draw it in, turn it inside out. And tie it off. This is really quite an easy pattern in comparison to even the teddy bear pattern that I do. You don't have a whole lot of technical stuff to do. Just mostly changing color, which is not difficult. Okay, now that you're done tying it off, stuff it up. And you'll have your head done. Now 
say you want to start on the arm, which I'm switching to the flower loom, but you can work flat with 12 pegs on your blue loom if you so choose. But I like to work circular since I have the loom. And what you're going to do is you're going to start off with your shirt pattern, I mean your shirt color. And you want to go ahead and cast on all pegs. And the way you want to look at this is you're starting at the base of the arm and working to the end. And go ahead and e-wrap 12 pegs circular for 10 rows. Or if you're working on your blue loom and you're working flat, do the same except not circular. Do it flat. Okay. And you want to just continue on. Now that we've done that, we're going to change color. So go ahead and snip that off and get your tan. And we're going to do the hand area now. And we're going to tie on the new color. There's many different techniques to changing colors. This is just the way I do it. And snip any excess off. Okay, go ahead and e wrap 12 pegs for 5 rows. Create the hand area. Once you're done with that, you're going to do a drawstring cast off like you did with the head. And naturally you'd make two of these. Turn it inside out, and then you want to stuff it. Naturally, I'm tying off the end so that I don't have it unraveling on me at any point. Alright, go ahead and turn it inside out. Complete that drawstring. It's nice and tight. Go ahead and tie it off, and then you'll turn it right side out and stuff it up, and that'll take care of your arm. Next, we want to start with our legs, and we're going to change back to the blue loom, and we're going to cast on 18 pegs. And we're going to be working flat with the leg. And 
go back and e-wrap. What you want to do is you want to um, e-wrap for four rows total. Continue on there. For a total of four rows. Now that we've done that, we want to decrease by one on each end, which is going to make a foot area. So we're starting from bottom to top, unlike the arm. And now you have 16 pegs, so go ahead and e-wrap that row. to decrease by one on each end again. And now you have 14 pegs. So go ahead and e-rep the 14 pegs. pretty much about done with the foot area and you're going to want to change colors to your pants color yarn which I choose to do a multicolor blue for kind of blue jeans but it's up to you what color pants you want by the way all the yarn I'm using in this video is red heart yarn After you get done tying off, you're going to e-wrap all the pegs, all 14 pegs for 10 rows total. Actually working the upper leg area. And continue on to complete your 10 rows. Now that you're done with that, you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to cast off. So take the first loop off, wrap, pull through. Take the second loop off, pull through. And then wrap and pull through. Take the next loop off and pull through, wrap, and pull through, and you want to continue this process all the way around. And when you're done with that, you want to snip a long end, or long end and pull it through and tighten it and then you're going to thread that and sew it up but go ahead and you can
can see this is what your leg looks like and you're going to fold it in half inside out and I chose to start at the bottom you can do this anyway I kind of tie off to do a guide and go from there but basically you sew up the whole leg sew the tan where the tan is and the blue where the blue is so that you don't have the same color showing up and naturally you're going to want to make two of these and fill up the leg with the blue I'm kind of choosing to go in reverse and work from top to bottom to sew it down but it's up to you in any way form you see to sew it up all you have to do is sew it up that off turn it right side out and then you're going to stuff it and make your second one Next, the body, using the blue loom again, we're going to be working circular and you're going to start off with your pants color and you're going to cast on all pegs. So we're working from bottom to top and the cast on is going to be a drawstring so you're kind of wanting to go up and down all the way around and then you're going to toss over, as you can see, every other one. And you're going to like this cast on. I'll show you how it works. Now you just want to e-wrap all 24 pegs for 6 rows and so you're going back to something you regularly know so just go ahead and e-wrap and you're working circularly so go ahead and complete your 6 rows and continue on next you want to purl but as you can see you pull in and you have a very circular area that's filled in next we're going to purl a row and the reason for this is you'll have a guide for your 
place to sew on your legs, but it also puts a kind of indention in where the bottom area, which you've just completed, will fold under nicely, and you have a very distinct cutoff area where the stuffed animal will, the actual scarecrow will sit. And on any of my other patterns, if you were to want to do this, you can see purling really does make a difference on how the scarecrow or stuffed animal sits. And when you're done purling, we'll continue on there. So you just completed your bottom area. Now you want to e-wrap 24 pegs for 10 rows total. And then after you're done doing that, we're going to change to the shirt color. And we're going to finish up the body. Let's go ahead and tie that off. If any excess. And you're going to e wrap all 24 pegs for 10 rows. And continue on to complete the two, 10 rows. Now that we're done with that, we're going to cast off using our crochet hook. And again, we take off the first loop, wrap, pull through. Take off the second loop, pull through, wrap, pull through. And keep going and continue this all the way around until you get all the pegs off. Okay, we got our last peg off. And to keep it even, I've been going back into an original loop, pulling it through, and then wrapping and pulling through. And I'm going to cut a long strand. And there's your body, and you want to turn it inside out and tie off the bottom. Then you're going to want to stuff it. And technically, we have loomed everything together, 
And after you stuff all this, we're going to start the next process, which is sewing it all together. Flip it right side out and stuff it up. Now we want to sew everything together. There's all your parts and you'll see the hat and that's another video. The link to the hat will be at the bottom below and it's called a flat cap. We're going to sew the legs on first and if you remember me telling you about the purl line, you're going to just sew um, starting anywhere. This doesn't have a really distinctive area. So just go ahead and start sewing on the legs and they're going to be sewn right beside each other. Once you get one sewn on, you can sew the other one right beside it or you can put a little space in there if you choose. It's all up to you on what you decide you want to do. I chose to do mine right beside each other. And then you want to tuck your ends in to the actual body. And now you want to start to sew on the head. And that's really no specific place for that. So go ahead and sew your head on. Putting this doll together is very easy in comparison to the stuffed animal. Everything has to line up with them. Because there's no distinctive spot, you can just kind of sew it on. Most distinctive spot is where your arms are going to go. And you'll want to tie it off and tuck the ends in, of course. And the next thing is going to be sewing on the arms. And that's going to be the very, very top of the body, right under the head, lining up with the outside of the legs. As you can see, it lines up with the outside of the legs and is at the very, very top of the body at the base of the head, which isn't too difficult. Go ahead and sew those arms on, tie them up, tuck the ends. We're almost done putting them together. And you want to sew on the other one, just like you did the first one. And then next we'll be adding the personality to it, adding that face. Tuck your ends in. And I like to put the hat on so you get a general idea of where you want your facial features to go, where you want the buttons to start and everything. And as I said, the hat pattern is going to be in the link below the video for it, which is actually a really easy pattern. And so we got a new general idea of where our face is going to go and we want to get out our glue gun and our buttons and start hot gluing the face together. So about halfway down, I'm going to start gluing my eyes on and my eyes are actually pony beads melted down. But they can just be standard black buttons. So you glue your eyes on. And this is all a guesstimate. There's no really specific way of
telling you where to place everything. Then glue your nose on, which I've chosen a lighter color button, which is tan. And then I've chosen to do brown buttons for the smile. And this is all a guesstimate. you'd rather choose to try to stitch in a face that's entirely up to you. That may be what you'd want to do if you want to turn this scarecrow into a doll rather than a scarecrow. Okay, we got our face done. And now you want to add the hat and the scarf. And I used a handkerchief and just tied it around his neck. And basically you're done. A cute little fun simple doll. My son absolutely loves this doll.